Uh, I come before you um, with an issue, quite possibly a solution, um, that concerns the county that you folks may not be aware of. A um, couple of two or three weeks ago, uh, Dr. DeVries and I were approached by some county people out of Ted Meyer's office to help and assist with a problem that is apparently going to occur if it's not occurring already in the county and that is uh, many uh, parolees, people that are being released from jail are now reintegrating back into the community. The job placement people, the county people don't know what to do with them. Hence they came to the Cafe Anne, the Keys program, to ask us for our assistance. Father Boyle is going to be there tomorrow to give us a word of inspiration and then he's going to say it's not my damn problem. It's your problem. Um, the broken chickens, ladies and gentlemen, have come home to roost. Hi, I'm Armando, Armando Vasquez. And I'm Debbie DeVries. And um, we, Debbie and I, came together about 25 years ago with the idea of working in communities that um, had issues uh, of employment, of educational uh, uh, problems, social problems, police problems, housing problems. And um, it just so happened that in our quest to find a place, we landed here in Oxnard. That was about 25 years ago. Um, one of the things that uh, we wanted to do was to get young people and disenfranchised people uh, a leg up, an opportunity uh, to um, level the playing field. And um, one of the things that I've always believed in is that art is one of those magical experiences in any human being that can un uplift even the most troubled soul. So uh, when we started our program, um, we developed some uh, educational components to our program, some employment components to our program. And later on, the arts came as just part of something that most of the kids brought in with them. And um, uh, about a year ago, we were in the process of uh, losing our lease at our previous location and Debbie and I um, had thought about uh, going to the city to try to partner with them and get a location. And we are now standing and being interviewed in the site that we think is the ideal site for our next uh, rebirth. And we're standing in a building called the Social Security Building. It's about 20,000 square feet. And we think in this building 
our dreams, the dreams of the community, of the youth, the disenfranchised, can be really realized in uh, a way that art can help uh, um, uh, promote uh, all of the things that we want for our, our, our community. And so we're real excited about working on a uh, campaign to get the city to partner with the community, with all of us, so that we can take over this uh, site, acquire this site, because after all, it is the people's site. We paid for it with our taxes. Right, Debbie? Yeah, and then the other piece that I'd just like to share is, it. we believe that if you provide the space, that people will come with creative ideas in ways to improve and make even more dynamic of community lives. In our former location at the Cafe One, we used to say we were creating a sanctuary for people to, to brainstorm about the ultimate possibilities that could help each other and then help others uh, in need. And what we were able to do is create that space. So we watched so over 2,000 youth that we worked with blossom and go on to college and build uh, confidence in different careers and, and continue their education. And then we're already continuing that here in uh, the location. And so many people in the community have been coming in in the last month with ideas of, of the things that the community needs that this exact location is so ripe for because it's across from the Plaza Park, there's parking, it's near the center of other activities here. So we're, we're excited to share this with you. So I think that, um, as Debbie is saying, uh, we have a history here, we have a following here, we have uh, the educational community, the business community, and I think we can get government involved to support the idea, and it is a novel idea. I wouldn't say um, it's gonna be easy, but it's, it's doable that the city understands that in turning this uh, location over to the community and um, further the, furthering the aspirations and the, the dreams of the community can be a real win-win situation for everybody. Um, so what we're doing with this campaign is putting out the word that this is, and, and that's the language that we're going to use, that this is their community. This is their community center, this is their property through the taxation uh, process. Uh, the community has acquired this, the community has a right to make some type of, you know, reasonable bid on this property. And as agents of that, you know, um, artistic and cultural change, I think that um, we can present a very good argument that this is probably the best place uh, for the community to be at right now. Uh, a little history is this place has been closed for five years. Uh, we've opened it up in the last month and we've had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people here. The art exhibit is wonderful. Uh, the vibe is really, you know, um, upbeat and doable. It's really re-energized the downtown area. And I'll share, uh, you know, an open secret is that the city for a long time hasn't been able to meet up with its expectations. That is to create a real, um, uh, corridor of activity with the arts with the arts with culture with business with education and it hasn't been necessarily congruent with the needs of the community so I think that this takes care of all of those problems that the city has and it creates a real wonderful place es el ombligo de la comunidad que queremos este desarrollar para todo el mundo aquí en Oxnard y a través de este esfuerzo, este esfuerzo la gente de la comunidad puede realizar lo que, lo que cualquier pueblo quiere. Vamos a tener um, arte, cultura y um, uh, programas educativos para toda la comunidad. Necesitamos que la comunidad hispana que está aquí y representamos cerca de 80% de la población nos apoye en este esfuerzo. Es su casa y les brindamos esta oportunidad para asistir. And just one mm -hmm. other thing that some of the people from the city and environs have said that what they could ultimately see with the vision that we have for this is that it would actually become an anchor for the redevelopment of the downtown and the revitalization. So we're excited about that. Yes. Is that good?
etc. <laughs> Hi, my name is Julie Medina. I am the executive director of One Love Dance Company. And what I do is I have a Zumba class uh, and I work with low income farm working um, women. We desperately need a place like um, the social security so we could do a lot of activities, not only for um, low income families, but also for the youth and also the kids that are growing up here in Oxnard. Hi, my name is Rene Corrado. I support Dr. Acuna Art Collective. I believe we have a great opportunity here to show the world what we have in Oxnard. If uh, you can help us to have all of this talent under one roof, we, w we can do great. Thank you. I think the uh, city of Oxnard is ready for, for the future. Uh, the art people are becoming more interested in uh, coming to downtown. I can see more murals being built or being, you know, work on it. Uh, in my own industry, I've been able to provide that kind of service on murals. I started 40 years ago, 40 years ago. A little by little, I, I changed this whole building and I did murals. I like murals, I like the art, I like to bring the community together. Uh, the building on, right across the, the park, it's a great piece of land. It's very centered, it's right in the downtown of Oxnard. I believe that that building becomes a sort of a historical art museum, uh, some sort of a community center for the families to come in and enjoy art. And you know, just the energy, the possibilities are tremendous. It is important for communities to come together. So I envision Oxnard not only as a center for the visual and performing arts, but a community that would come together to learn from each other. The cultural heritage, having opportunities to, for example, for students, uh, I can even picture uh, elementary students, junior high students, coming together with university students and learning about the cultural heritage through uh, cultural events, and also through volunteer opportunities within the, the, the center. It would build the sense of community in which uh, knowledge and culture is shared, and also it would encourage residents to know and learn about each other. There are other tangibles like, of course, in, uh, improving the quality of life or the, uh, uh, the property value, etc. but in a more construct constructive way, this center would uh, empower people about their own culture, about enjoying this uh, learning experience in a fun way. And also, most importantly, could you envision Oxnard not just with a permanent cultural center, but be known as the city of culture and museums? I can't.